Hey, Boil Gamers, welcome back. So, I did this nice little thing at the uh, game shop, and I basically said, Hey, here's my budget. You guys pick out three random titles, and I will review them. And so, Apple and Tim at Game Central decided, Okay, let's take a look. And so, they, they went around, found a few, and Soul Divide was one of them. And so, we're going to take a look at this PlayStation exclusive. This is for the original PlayStation by like, How's it going to stack up? Let's find out. Now, what is Soul Divide? The game on on surface looks like an RPG, but then it also looks like it could be a side-scrolling brawler if you're looking at the box art. And then you kind of get this idea that it's it's going to be just one of these, okay, either like Dungeons and Dragons, Chronicles of Mysteria, or it's going to be some type of RPG, whatever. Okay, it's definitely not the fantasy, so what is it? It's a bullet hell shooter. What? This is a bullet hell shooter? That doesn't no, wait. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. I'm scratching my head on this one. That doesn't make sense. All right, let's just get past the format. What's a bullet hell shooter, by the way? Hey, you're dodging every type of projectile that enemies throw at you, and you basically have to weave tight patterns to dodge it all. Okay, yeah, simple enough. R-type, life force, tons of classic games with bullet hell shooters. In fact, tons of popular games with bullet hell shooters. But let's let's move on. Let's move on. It actually is decent, though. And the way this one works is, is of course you can do all the shooting under the sun, whatever. Standard convention. But your characters also have up close so they can like hit people with swords, magic wands, or whatever they have. They can actually just come up and start bashing enemies. And if you are doing physical attacks, those actually do more damage than your bullet attacks. Okay, cool. But then you have magic. And your magic, depending on the character, uh, varies. And magic, it consumes a certain amount of power, which, okay, fair enough. And you can only use certain magic attacks uh, cert at certain times. Cool! It's a good way to keep it fairly balanced. So strategically using this throughout means that, hey, you can make your way to success. The problems I'm having with this game, though, is that the game itself is not fully translated. Wait, what? You guys didn't fully translate this? This is the U.S. version of Soul Divide. And the ending text, the menus and everything are in English, but no one thought to translate the end. So at the end of the game, I think something happened. I don't know the story because it's in Japanese. I don't read Japanese. I'm American. I'd like to read Japanese, but I don't read Japanese. <laughs> any rate. So they didn't translate it. So, okay, head scratcher, whatever. So, gamer standpoint, how's the stack up? Whether you're playing by yourself or with a friend, hey, it's a fun game. This one actually will give you at least a half an hour worth of play. Because, hey, beginning to end, that's how long it takes to beat this. This was more of an arcade game than it actually is, like, a full, drawn-out game. It's got some branching path options, but it's not as detailed as, as like, Chronicles of Mysteria and stuff like that. Um, which is Dungeon Dragon speed em up game we'll be doing a review on at some point. But altogether, though, as a bullet hell shooter, as for what it is, this is just a fun game. It's a fun game, and, you know, it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. Um, thanks, Apple. Thanks, Tim. And morally speaking, I mean, morally speaking, this has got a lot of mythos in it. So you're dealing with dragons, you're dealing with demons, you're dealing with sorcerers, you're dealing with wizards, you're dealing with um, harpies, all sorts of mythological this and that, people with powers, whatever. I don't know why you're fighting evil, but you're fighting evil because it seems like the thing to do. Again, I can't really tell you from a story standpoint what's going on because I don't read Japanese. I just, I don't have that capacity yet. I can pick out two or three characters and I can start making stuff up. Anyway, I, I don't think you want me to make stuff up. So that's, that's all I could really say. Um, there's no real undress to worry about. There's no real uh, anything else. Um... It's just pretty much straightforward. So, morally speaking, if you object to any of the aforementioned, and I know it's just mythological stuff, wizards and whatnot, then yeah, you may not want to play this. Um, other than that, this is this is a fun game. It's pretty much rated E, so there's... <laughs> I don't know what to say. It, it's fun. You know, if you can pick this one up for cheap, check it out. And again, I want to take and make a shout-out to Apple and Tim at Game Central and Crossroads. Um, hey, thanks, guys. That was, this was a good pick.